This is John with Proactive in Greenville, South Carolina. We're continuing our trailer build. We're focusing on the IBC tote. We've got the hose reels mounted. We've got temporary placement of our four gallon a minute machine and our eight gallon a minute machine. And now we're placing the tote. We've got a 330 gallon ICB, IBC tote. We just bought off of Craigslist for about 50 bucks. It's got a two inch valve on the bottom of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out all of our plumbing and show you kind of exactly how we're gonna create a manifold that then feeds both these machines as well as our two 12 volt machines. We now have our water distribution manifold system set up that's gonna supply water to all of our pumps or any of our tanks that we need. So let me show you what we actually ended up with. We're coming off the 330 gallon tote and I know what you're gonna say, we're a little bit filter happy and we don't deny that. Uh, anytime you have pumps faulting out or, or specs of anything getting into the system. Uh, if you stop your job for an hour trying to fix that or figure that out, you'll be filter happy as well. So where we are right now with this is you come off of the, out of the main pump and if it continues straight, you hit an inch and a half filter, you go to an inch and a half line and that line connects directly into the back of our eight gallon a minute pressure washer. So we are feeding that with an inch and a half uh, that's been suggested by uh, Lori and them down at Pressure Washing Products. We typically have been feeding our machine with an inch, but uh, they have the setup to do it with an inch and a half. And you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, overkill's not gonna hurt us. So we went ahead and set it up this way to give it a try and see how it works. The other thing that I'd like to show you is when you come off of this line uh, and it comes this direction, it actually goes through a two inch filter, two inch piping system and goes back underneath the tote. What that's going to do is provide a, a, a constant water source for our 12 volt system. So in the back is where we have our 12 volt system. The pipe comes out and you're seeing a T here. The line that comes off the top of the two inch T is a one inch crush proof hose. It goes directly to our seven gallon a minute 12 volt pump that is our rinse pump. The coming straight off the tee will come up through the metering system and goes to the water to, to mix with our bleach and surfactant that then will be put on whatever it is we're cleaning. The final, final hose you see is water that comes off the tote and it actually goes to a three-way valve where we actually feed bleach. So bleach comes in from underneath the tank to this three-way valve and goes to our metering valve through this system. But then at the end of the day, we need to actually use this valve to flush the entire system and clean the system out. So this is the water source coming from the tote that allows us to flush bleach through the entire system and be clean at the end of the day. Let me move to the front of the trailer now and, and I'll show you how we plumb the rest of the pressure washers. So coming back off this manifold, in this direction we have another two inch filter. That two inch filter then continues into a two inch manifold. Now what we have here is we have an auxiliary hose. And what we do with this hose is we just tee in, we put a ball valve on the top of it, and this hose can then fill a bucket if we need to, but it can also go over and add water to our surfactant tanks. So when we need to mix more surfactant, you put in the chemicals that you need. If you need to add water, you can do it with this fill hose without having to go and fill a bucket. And so we tap that directly off of the manifold. This manifold then runs along the whole length of the trailer out to the front. And what we do with that is first of all, the eight gallon a minute machine was tied in from the other side on the inch and a half tubing that you saw. But as the two inch manifold continues in this direction, we tee into it with a one inch crush proof pipe. And it then connects directly into our four gallon a minute machine. And that supplies water to the four gallon a minute machine. And then off the front, we have what we call a dump valve. So there's two inches and the dump valve then coming along to the front can be opened and you can dump the water out of the tank at the end of the day or whenever you need. Uh, if you look back at one of our videos about how we put Hudson valves in the tank, we actually have a 330 gallon Hudson valve shut off, but we have about a 75 to 100 gallon one. So we don't like to dump a lot of water, but sometimes you end up with water and you need to get it out of the tank quick and that's how you do it. The other thing that is, that's a good bucket fill. So at any, good, any point in time that we do need a bucket of water, you just turn the nozzle, just plenty of room underneath there to put a five gallon bucket and, uh, and you can fill it up to whatever you need. 
So once again, that's the manifold system that'll supply water off the 330 gallon tote to two 12 volt pump systems and one eight gallon a minute and one four gallon a minute pressure washer. This is John with Proactive in Greenville, South Carolina. Comment below, uh, give us a call if you've got any questions. Uh, thanks for watching.